this owner, he's had another plumber out. And the other plumber's told him, nah, it just can't be cleared. It's a council issue. And I told this owner, mate, I said, mate, he must have a heart the size of an ant's kneecap if he couldn't clear this one. Because this is just a bloody 20 minute job, mate. It's just what we do. We'll check this inspection point here. And I'm assuming she's chockers as well. I mean, this isn't a council issue. This is just a, just a oh yeah, no, nah, she's chockers. This is just a, an everyday bloody blockage, mate. So... What we'll do is we'll fire the jet up and we'll just get it sorted, guys. It's as simple as that. Boom, we're away. Let's get it sorted. Something's not right, guys. Let's uh, let's go for a bit of an investigation. All right, guys. I wasn't sure if you're going to be able to hear me, so I'll explain what's going on now. So the shop we're doing work at—it's a bakery, but it's also got a little restaurant tacked onto the back of it in a uh, car park behind. Look, there's lots of little shops and restaurants and all sorts of bits and pieces down here and uh, look the last plumber thought it was a you know a council issue or a bloody you know a strata issue and I'm just gonna have a wander down here and see if there's the main inspection shaft or anything where you can have a sticky beak down but it doesn't look like it and uh, we'll just have a look in this unit here hello it's the plumber I'm just gonna have a quick look in this floor waste drain here and look that's it's clear as clear can be mate so look it's definitely not a strata issue or a council issue it's We'll have a look in here as well. Knock, knock, plumber. Hello. All right, now we can see, guys, that, uh, yeah, look, we're working next door, and it's just all coming through. That We'll have to, oh, bloody hell, we'll clean this up. Shut the door here. Two seconds. All right, well, let's go and look for a grease trap. There's just got to be one here. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a good day if you're a bee, mate. I mean, oh, look, it's a bloody day for it if you're a bee. Just, just don't bloody sting me, though. Anywho, look, we'll have another sticky beak in here. We'll have assess the situation, but look, I reckon this is where the last plumber's has just bloody given up. Well, guys, it didn't take much bloody effort. I've just wandered around into the rear car park here. Look, this grease trap's galore, mate. Look at that. I reckon this is the one that we're looking for. Boom. Bit of bloody Grand Theft Auto here, mate. All right, here we are. Let's unload. Well, bloody hell, you know, I don't mind a grease trap, guys, but this one hasn't been touched in years. As I say, this grease trap, mate, the owners didn't even know it's here. I mean, the aroma to it is just something that you, oh, you just don't want to smell it, mate. Yeah, mate, this is definitely where this bakery is blocked. Just around the elbow of this bloody inlet right here. It's so close. Boom, guys, I reckon we've just about got her. The issue is this whole grease trap, she's set rock solid, mate. Needs a good clean out. I'm just gonna try and blast the bottom of this 
battle just so that the, uh, the liquid just can get through from one side to another. Hey! And look at the drain from the shop, guys. That blockage is just flowing through beautifully. I mean, look at that, guys. Not only have we just made the customer's day, but we've got a free-flowing drain to bloody enjoy, mate. I mean, talk about two stones, one bird. Just like that, boom, we're back, guys. And today, we got another grease trap. I'm bloody excited to show you this one, guys. Keep messaging me. I love to hear from you guys. Whoa, and we're away. Oh, no, we lost her. There go. Let's give her a good old blast. Let's give her a real blast like this and uh, see if we can get something moving. Get a feel for this outlet. There she is. In a... There we are. Just have a little nosy on down here and you can see yeah the levels are a little bit higher than they should be oh guys look at that look at that absolutely bloody marvelous mate the levels inside the grease trap they're dropping we'll give her another blast just to make sure she's 110 percent Guys, give yourselves that big bloody pat on the back, mate. Another video, another drain. You have absolutely nailed her once again. Levels are dropping. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Getting ourselves a little bit of a whirlpool now. A little greasy whirlpool. Just the cherry on top. Oh, it's just bloody spectacular, isn't it? see what's in there i mean i just i can just imagine it's just a build up of toilet paper or whatnot but i wanted to make sure put the camera out for this one just so that we can see this one together and oh wow bloody hell look at that mate it's a bloody king brown australian snake mate you little ripper all right we got all the gear out here now guys and i'm gonna get this a little saw let's just see if we can chop through through these roots and i'll just try and pull as many out as possible before we send the jet down but wow we i mean that is just mate that's years worth of growth there that is just, I, i'm bloody so i don't know if i'm surprised or impressed i don't know what the word is but for them to have been using the toilet i mean they say look you know we've been using it it's just slow to drain i mean bloody hell anyway Wow, this is just, it's what bloody dreams are made of, mate, you know? I mean, how they were flushing anything down that toilet and it getting past all this is just beyond me. I mean, as I say, I'm impressed. I'm bloody impressed. And I mean, I'm excited as well. I'm really excited for this one. And I know I use that term loosely from time to time, but I'm always excited about this sort of stuff, guys. And this is going to be a ripper. And the goal is to actually rip out this drain snake. We don't want to send her downstream. So the plan is to send the jet upstream and just give it a good blasting and uh, just with this head, just to loosen it up a little bit so I can try and yank the drain snake out. Oh, 
I mean help yourselves guys and pour yourself a glass. Look at this. I mean this is what you call West Australian drain champagne mate. It's bloody, it puts hairs on your bloody chest. Get it in here. Alright so we'll try and feed her down stream a little bit now as well just to loosen up this snake. I'm not sure if the the roots are getting in downstream or upstream but we'll soon bloody see. You can tell the owners put some sort of detergent or some chemical down here guys. Oh look at all the roots coming out mate, wow. And I mean that's just a small portion. I mean we're in for a right treat. Oh, I can bloody, yeah I can, I can feel that drain snake mate. She just wants to bite. Try and feed this jet down a little bit more. Give it a bit more of a blast. Looks like there's an awful lot of sand in the line. I don't know. A little bit of a feel around, guys. That's what you've got to do sometimes. You've got to get your hands in amongst it and just bloody feel for it, you know? Worst case scenario, take the gloves off, mate. Get your hands in amongst it and bloody, I don't know, just bloody slap a bit on the face for some moisturiser and I mean, enough, of, enough of me rambling. This is, Jesus, this is uh, trying to get her out here. Come on, mate. Wow. She's putting up a fight. Come on. Jesus Christ. I can feel I'm getting it. I'll just... I just have to chop her off. So I think she's attached upstream. I'm going to just chop this bit off here. And then I should be able to pull this this downstream snake. I chopped the snake in half basically mate, so this should slide right out. Famous bloody last words as well, isn't it? Let's try and rip her out. Come on mate. Jesus. Here we go. Here we go. Come on mate. Come on, get out. <laughs> we are pulling this monster out now. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Look at the size of this. Wowee. Hey, <laughs> look at that. We've bloody done it, guys. Well, that's the downstream side of the snake. She's an absolute whopper, mate. She bloody weigh a good bloody, oh mate, easily five kilos. That's a, it's a nice little find, that one. Today, block drain. I mean, oh, what did you think you were coming here for? It's not a bloody travel show or a food channel. It's a bloody drain cleaning channel. And guys, we'll get the plunger out. Give this gully a good old plunge because the kitchen sink runs into this gully and mate, she is full of bloody food scraps and grease and whatnot. So we'll, we'll keep plunging. Let's go for it, guys. I mean, it's just a brilliant way to start the week, isn't it? And I mean, it's bloody stinks, guys. I, look, I don't want to put a downer on this video, but wow, does this have a smell to it. And she's putting up a bit of a fight, guys. What we're going to do is we're going to keep plunging. Plunge until we can clear the base of this gully, and then we're going to pull the jetter out. We're going to jet blast her so clean that the owner's going to be like, bloody hell, what, did these guys replace the drain or did they clean it? Let's give this drain a clean of the lifetime. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to clean out the base of this gully, make sure that this gully is Mickey Mouse, and then we're going to go upstream of the waste pipe to the kitchen sink or to the underside of the kitchen sink guys make sure this drain is thoroughly cleaned all right now we're away look at that got a bit of pressure behind us and we will clean off this grease and we'll just make this this great look mickey mouse and then we are going to send that jetter upstream to the underside of the kitchen sink and just give this a bloody thorough clean guys
All right, we got the little whippos to go up the 50 mil line of this kitchen sink waste pipe. And we are going to absolutely go to town on it. We'll go bloody bananas, mate. Now I'm going to try and get you as close to the action as possible, but uh, just make sure that you're wearing something old, guys, because you could get covered in absolute filth. Wow, and you can see that thick grease we're just clearing out, guys. We're absolutely annihilating it. And I just had the lovely owner walk outside and she just said, Bruce, your job is absolutely disgusting. I don't know how you can do it. And I said to her, I don't understand what you mean, love. I mean, I'm living the great Australian dream. I don't know what you think I'm doing, but I'm clearing a bloody block drain and this is living. And she looked at me sideways and she said, what do you mean? Do you enjoy it? And I looked back at her sideways and I said, does the Pope eat salad? And she was just plain confused and she walked inside. Lovely lady. And I just continued on, guys. I've got the shovel out now. We mean some business, don't we? So what we've got to do is we've got to try and find this inspection shaft. Now, it's all guesswork, but I'm assuming, seeing as we can see a whole heap of sewer down here, you'd assume the inspection shaft, all these units is down here somewhere. And mate, she just wants to give. So anyway, we'll have a bit of a scratch, a bit of a, a dig. And you know what? I might even bloody bang the GoPro on a set because digging with one hand and holding the camera in the other, this is not much fun. But guys, what things I do for the team. Anyway, let's continue on. I am already rambling. We're not even a couple of minutes into the video. So let's do it. Oh, we found something down here, didn't we? Oh, this is lovely, mate. Now, winter in Perth, Western Australia, it's come and gone, mate. It's starting to warm up again. We're on the way to summer, and that's the problem is the bloody flies are out, mate. So, flies love this sort of thing, obviously. So, mate, we're not only dealing with a block drain, we are dealing with the flies. All right, guys, we've got the GoPro on now. We mean absolute business. Let's have a bit of a dig, and we'll just try and look for this inspection shot. Oh, wow. 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 There is an awful lot of sewer upstream. So we're going to have to dig some holes to try and dig some holes for the sewer just to leach into so we can actually bloody get to this inspection shaft. I mean, where would you rather be, guys? <laughs> oh. Yeah, the inspection shaft is right there. I really like kneeling down on sewer, but that's just me. So I'll give it a little bit of a tap and see how we go. Yeah, she's nice and rusted. Well, it's starting to get a bit of progress here now. I can hear it's, uh, it, she just sounds like she wants to explain, doesn't she? Oh, here we go. Whee! Hey, there we go. We'll try and, try and get this lid off somehow. Whee, there we go. Boom. We got access to the drain, and I'm glad we let that seep away for a little while, guys, because if we'd have bloody knocked that lid off uh, when the drain was full, oh, mate, we would have been in all sorts of strife. So let me know. Say good day. Let's get this drain sorted now, guys.
Yeah, there's definitely tree roots in here and it does feel like the drains start to collapse, so I'm sure we'll get it though, guys. I'm sure we will get it. Yeah, this nozzle's an absolute beast, so I wouldn't be surprised if we smack... Oh, look at that! On cue! I think we got it, guys. Yeah, this, this nozzle's probably tearing through the roots as we speak, guys, and uh, it's just another day in paradise, isn't it? This bloody palm tree up here is the cause, I dare say. There's no other trees around here, so... I don't know, we might have to work on this a little bit more. But that's all right. It's all fun and games, guys. Let's feed it down here. There we are. All right, a few of you may notice I've snapped a couple of these uh, these valves to the mini reels. I've got a heap on order. I bloody go through them like bloody they're going out of fashion, mate. So anyway, let's continue on. Oh, mate, we are getting through this. We are, hey, hey whoa, oh, look at that, guys. We have absolutely annihilated whatever was causing the issue here. Well, I dare say it was a huge build-up of tree roots. And, uh, yeah, there's a definitely, oh, uh, look, there's a couple of wipes that have come out of there, but the main issue is tree roots. And I dare say this drain has collapsed. I'll bang the camera down there in a bit, but look at that. You just can't flush them. You keep them plumbers employed flushing these things down. We'll try and get some sort of marker, maybe a stick, or let's have a look around and see if we can... Nothing too much. We need a bloody, you know, we need a little bit of pipe or a stick or something. And we backfill around it, and then in the future it uh, makes it easy to find this. What on earth is this? It's a big bloody pair of... Look at the size of these undies, mate! Wowee! Jesus! Right. They're not going to fit me. I, uh, I'll leave them there. And, well, it looks a bit bloody spooky in here. There's bloody spider webs and all sorts. Is that bloody fake bloody spider web? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at that. These sp wow. Look at these little spiders. These fake spiders. They bloody got me then. Oh, made me bloody jump. All right, guys. I've taken the lids off the grease traps and just as we thought, grease traps, chocker block. The levels should not be this high. That's the outlet there, and this is the inlet here. Can't even see the inlet pipe, mate, so look, there's a big problem. But luckily, we're on the case, guys. Let's connect the jetter up, and let's clean these drains out like they've never been cleaned before. Now, I dare say the issue is on this outlet pipe here. I reckon the blockage is there. I, don't know. I might have to go down the gully, but see if we can feed her through here. Whoa, whoa, there we go. I'll just take the bloody GoPro off my head and I'll, I'll put it in my hand so I give you a better view. Shares flowing absolutely wonderful. Two seconds, guys. Look at that. I mean, we talked about Picasso's in a recent video, but mate, if that's not a Picasso right there, then I bloody don't know what is. I mean, this is just simply a work of art, mate. And look at that. We can see the inlet already. Now, I've got a pump truck coming out in about an hour's time, guys. So all that rubbish and all the rest of it, it's, uh, it's all getting pumped out. So don't get your knickers in a knot, you at the back. And look, if we can be serious with ourselves, just for a moment, guys, and you tell me in the comments, where would you rather be? Because I am scratching me bloody head. I, uh, this is where I'd rather be. We got a block drain and guys, you think that's it? Have a look over here. This one is a shocker. Look, if you're not into block drains, I'd suggest you bloody click away right now because this is not going to be for you. But for the rest of you, for the small handful left, I'll tell you what, 
you're gonna bloody love this one. I'm excited about this one. This whole channel drain, we're gonna have to rip up all these grates because, mate, she is chock-a-block. So what we're gonna do, guys, I'm just gonna try and find the drain. I'm just gonna have a bit of a poke around and see. What on earth is that? It's bloody bubbling, mate. I mean, doesn't that just remind you of the champagne you could be drinking in Spain? Or a mean business now, guys. Uh, as you can see, this is chockers, and I've got a piece of wood to help me, guys. To keep on poking around here. There's got to be a drain somewhere, because until we find that that drain, it's obviously blocked. Then we're uh, we're up shit creek, mate. So. What on earth is going on there, mate? This is absolutely chock-a-block. I mean, guys, I bloody love this stuff. This is what dreams are about, mate. Look at that, guys. What a mess. That is just thick porridge, mate. All right, so the job just keeps getting bloody bigger and bigger. Mate, this is absolutely rotten. There's all sorts coming out of this drain. Whoa! That's what we're up against, guys. There's all sorts down the drain. Hey, look at that! Oh, it's like a bloody Mona Lisa, mate. She's a work of art. We'll just send a bit of fresh water down for now. Everything in this channel drain will run through into the grease trap. I'm not allowed to just scoop up this this sort of stuff and put it into your standard rubbish bin, guys. It's what you call a controlled waste. So 
It's uh, it's going to go into the grease trap, and then the grease trap's booked in to be pumped out tomorrow. So we're doing it the way we should, guys. Look at that. Just a lovely sight, that. There's something about a free-flowing drain that I just bloody love. Oh, I find it to be bloody relaxing. I feel like I should have a little rubber ducky bloody sliding down here and uh, I'll tell you what, have a little race. A couple of rubber duckies. All right, you can see this original floorway strain that I was called out for. That's now clear, well clear-ish. Soon as the level's on that channel drain is clear, she'll run nicely, but uh, what we'll do, there's all sorts in this drain. What we'll do though is we'll jet out that, uh, that little floorway strain there and just get this flowing a bit better first. And guys, I bloody feel awkward to ask, you know, every time I ask you guys to smash the like button, you always do, you follow through, and if, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, like I always say guys, smash it so hard that YouTube go, oh wow, the Drain Cleaning Australia family, smash that like button harder than any community out there. Guys, it's much appreciated, I don't want your money, I don't want tips or donations or any of that, just to smash the like button, that's what makes me bloody stoked guys, it, really appreciate it, because it does wonders for the channel. You know, it brings in a new audience. And uh, that's what it's all about, guys. Sharing the content. There, jingle. I meant jiggle, but anyway. Uh, yeah, look at that, guys. A little jiggle jiggle has bloody sorted it out. It's clear again. Okay? If every job was that easy, just to give the drain a little jiggle, we'd be, uh, we'd be sorted. What is that? Like a big clumper, who knows what. For a big old dig, and a plan that just didn't add up, I found the ultimate blocked kitchen sink drain. All right, guys, get yourself something cold out the fridge, you know, a beer, a bloody champagne, mate. Put your feet up, sit back, and just enjoy. You might I tell you what, I'll grab the camera here. Let's try and clean this up a bit. Two seconds, guys. Have a look at that. I know it's a bit of an awkward spot with the sun kind of overhead, but you can see that, mate. Wow, we that is that is like some sort of record, mate. Well, bloody hell, guys, I've never seen anything quite like this. I mean. This is just one kitchen sink line. I mean, no, I'm not an archaeologist, and no, these aren't dinosaur bones. This is kitchen sink fat, pure grease. Come on, guys, take the bait. I mean, I'm living the great Australian dream. You can't tell me that there's a better job out there than clearing block drains. I mean, this is what dreams are made of, mate. Way on cue. Mate, we have just cleared it. This is unbelievable. It's like artwork. It's a bloody Picasso, mate. Look at it. Whoa! All the grease and wow! I mean, I'm telling you guys, there is nothing quite like the moment you clear a block drain. It's just so bloody satisfying, mate. All that hard work has paid off. And I just got to say, give yourselves the biggest of bloody pats on the back that you've given yourself all year. Because this one, this was a real team effort. This took a bit of persistence, took a bit of patience, but you guys were with me the whole... Whoa! Look at this! We've got a second wind! This is just amazing, guys! I mean, it's just a privilege to have you guys on board. You know... While I'm looking back at it, it's my first year on the tube, the old YouTube. And you guys have been with me through thick and thin, through bloody blocked toilets, blocked grease traps, blocked kitchen sinks, blocked basins, blocked showers, blocked stormwater, blocked bloody everything, guys. And I've got to say, 
you guys, out of all the communities going around on YouTube, you've got to be the best. You've got to be the bloody best by a country mile, mate. Bloody proud to have you on board. And it's an absolute privilege to be on your screens every couple of days. So thank you very much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Yeah, mate, she's all clear now. Yeah, go and run a couple of sinks inside if you want, buddy. Now she's all sweet. Just gonna go test everything out with the owner now. Oh, look at that. It's like someone's just gone and pulled the plug, mate. Cleaner than clean, oh, mate. I mean, once again, not one to blow me own trumpet, but that looks bloody beautiful.